<laughs> I think you better sit down. You're out of breath. Well, why don't you sit down? <laughs> you know, I feel real dumb when you do that. It's very hard. It's very hard to ball you out when you're taller than I say, now you should get home on time. You should eat your cereal. Lies and you're pointing up. It doesn't make any sense. Well, I down. I'm sorry, Mom, but you see, I do eat my cereal. That's why I got bigger than you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're smart, too, eh? Mm. I think they'll begin to stare at us. Yes. In you think we're going to sing? Yes. I think so. And where do you drive? Why are you looking at me this way? <laughs> well, I can't see you any other way. <laughs> Darren, where do you get you haven't blinked <laughs> once. <laughs> I have blinked. <laughs> what gives you your satisfaction when you're singing, when you have an audience? Their approval. Uh, Is this what you did for? Yes. You did for other things? Money. Anything else? I don't think so. No. What do you? What would you say? Your children. Well, that money's for my children. You establish a fund for them, I believe. Oh yes. Yes. Do you want them to go into show business? One of them has been, I believe. One is a an enormous one is. star. Yes. She's a great recording artist, and she's now understudying Barbara Streisand in a Broadway show. And they're writing a show just for her to do. That's Liza, my oldest daughter. Does this make you happy there in show business? That Liza's in show business? Yes, that makes me very happy. I think it's something to be very proud of. If you were to look back, uh, Madame Gavin, on your life, what a, sort of an advice would you give to your very talented and very beautiful daughter, Lisa? I don't give her any advice. Uh, she's very... She's very wise, and she's seen uh, my mistakes and my fears and so forth. And she is, has her feet on the ground all the time. You came here, of course, for your daughter Liza's wedding, which suddenly makes me feel very old because I can remember the way most of us can when Liza was quite a little girl. Are you happy about this wedding, dear? Oh, indeed, indeed, indeed. She's, he's a marvelous boy, you know, Peter Allen, and, and she's a lovely lady. She's not a child, and, and she's, they've been engaged for over two years, mm -hmm. and it's very, uh, I'm just terribly happy, terribly proud. Did you cry? No, I thought I was going to, and then I was so happy I didn't feel like crying at all. Did you give Liza any advice about marriage? No, I don't think so. I don't think I can qualify because I, I have not uh, been too successful myself about marriage, just in my children. But the thing is, she is a wise girl and she's very in love and he's a very lovely guy who's mad about her and uh, you can't ask for more than that. But needless to say, we are all very uh, much wishing to uh, offer our congratulations and our pleasure in the wreath. Why you're in New York tonight? It must have been a lovely wedding, and we certainly yeah. hope for your daughter a long and Lovely. happy life and lovely Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's a very pretty and a very talented girl. Very right? nice girl. A nice girl. And I'm, I adore my son-in-law. That's a good way to start things off, I must say. With your two children now, are you encouraging them or letting them take their own uh, identity about going into show business? I, I think they can do whatever they want to do. If they want to go into show business like Liza did, uh, fine. And uh, if my other daughter, Laura, and my son, Joe, uh, I'm mad about them. I know you are. Did you learn anything as a child star yourself in uh, treating your children uh, 
everybody says you were a victim of a stage mother and driving and you've got to be a success and that's the most important thing in the world in show business. I don't think I liked her well enough to, to, <laughs> to uh, learn oh, anything. Right. I was just scared uh -huh. of her and uh, uh, I, I don't really know whether I uh, subconsciously raised my children uh, uh, the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I did. I, we just have an awful lot of fun and they're full of sunshine. Judy Garland, screen actress, variety headliner, concert artist, recording star, radio television personality. And, and a mother. And, and a <laughs> mama, right, all right. Your youngsters are with you now, temporarily working. Yeah. Would you want them to continue in show business? Well, that's entirely up to them, you know? I think they're terribly good. I think they're terribly good people, besides being talented people. And whatever line of work or whatever they choose to do, I'll love them and adore them. Just, they don't have to be on the stage if they don't want to be. But if they want to be, fine. Happy to the way Lisa's career is going. Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, I'm very proud of her. She sounds mine. so much like you. <laughs> you hear that, too? Oh, I, I don't know. I think she's far better. She's got a, she's, oh, she just gets better and better. And she's so nice. Does she have your vitality? Oh, she makes me, the, she makes me look like a, a lazy person. She's just full of energy and she's charming, charming. She's a married lady. And she married to a dear fellow, and they're very happy. So, things are fine. She's a dream, you know. Yes, she is. And talent. She's got all your talent. <laughs> Easy to see where the talent came from. And then her husband, uh, Chris, uh, Peter, and Chris are great. They're back well, in Australia. She's not now. married to both of them. No, no, I meant. Uh, <laughs> she's married to Peter. Yes. And they're back in Australia now? Yes. You enjoy it, don't you? I mean, I is that your it. biggest personal satisfaction, being in front of an audience? Well, I guess it is yes. for most performers. I don't want to be there all the time. Of course not. You know, but I, because I like to be with my children sometimes. Most of the time, as a matter of fact. But I do like being in front of audiences, naturally, wouldn't you? How about the, rea <laughs> How about the reaction? <laughs> Terrible man. The reaction of your children when they see you? as a little girl in Wizard of Oz? Well, it took them quite a, a while going through shock because they came, <laughs> when they first thought they were very little and they thought the flying monkeys really had taken me away and the Wicked Witch was real and I had to, uh, you know, just reassure them. But I think it took about 14 years, I think, for <laughs> Liza to get over it. Who are some of your favorite singers? Do you have people that you like to listen to and that you think are oh yes sensational i think barbara streisand i think right. liza minnelli yeah! liza minnelli isn't she going to be with us uh i think liza's with us tomorrow or when or thursday next week what next week next wednesday or thursday well i would uh, you know she sounds a good deal like you the first time i heard her i really was rocked i first saw liza when she was in las vegas and when she walked out i was Devastated the first time. She has a lot of your qualities, doesn't she? But she has her own. Uh, uh, she is uh, Liza. Oh, she's a she definite personality. Her own sound, and she dances beautifully. And uh, maybe we phrase a little like, uh, like because we're well, we are related. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, she should. Have. She shouldn't. If if she didn't pick up anything from you, it would be wrong entirely, wouldn't it? What? If she didn't pick up something from you, I mean, in uh, phrasing uh, or in uh, singing or something, it would be all wrong, pick right? Pick up anything from me? No, I mean, in the musical, oh. you know, musical bag. Well, I... As I, the disc jockeys say. Uh, I think her, her uh, emotions are the same. We cry a lot. Do you really? Not really. What makes you sad? Do you, well, you cry at movies? When we're separated. When you're apart? Yeah. 